David Barnson with us this morning. What does this mean for Fed and rate cuts in the future, David? I think it pretty much locks in that you're going to get a quarter point cut uh, next month. A half point cut was mostly off the table already after the strong unemployment report of last week. Today, the kind of conflicting data with the month over month CPI being 0.1% higher than expected, but the weekly jobless claims being quite a bit higher. And again, the, the year over year number came down, Stuart. It was 2.5, it's now 2.4. It's probably just right in that lane that gives the Fed cover to go middle of the road, quarter point cut. David, I always think of you as a hardcore financial guy. But I want you to tell me what you think about Tesla and the robo taxi. <laughs> well, there's nothing like a hardcore financial guy to talk about something that he has never used or will use or know anything about. It is flattering that you see me as such a jack of all <laughs> trades. But um, it's fascinating uh, technological vision, um, a different you know growth uh, engine for for Tesla. And, and I think that it all comes down to execution. This has been the case with Tesla for years. There's a lot of ideas, some of which don't go anywhere, but they're good ideas, mm. have to execute. That's what but, this will come down to. Would you say that Elon Musk is the outstanding business executive in America today? Because the man's doing everything. He's a Trump backer. He appears with Trump. He's got the uh, Star Scope, what is it called? The Star Link to help out uh, disaster communities. And now he's got to the future of Tesla with the robo taxi. This guy is outstanding, isn't he? Well, the thing I admire most about Musk is his willingness to defend free speech in a period of time where it isn't always popular to do so. Um, that he actually built Tesla by taking his own PayPal fortune and putting his money where his mouth is. Uh, there's a lot of outstanding business people in America, but I am a big, huge fan for risk takers. Hmm. Elon Musk was a risk taker. You never take risk with your stock picks. You always go for the dividend payers, don't you? <laughs> well, remember, that's for client money, Stuart. You want to protect clients and give them a sustainable key to the future that isn't recklessly and foolishly betting on expensive stocks always getting more expensive. So the dividends are because I'm being a fiduciary for my clients. Is that a further critique of my ownership of Microsoft for 20 years? I think it is. David Barnson, I think you're all right, and we hope to see you again real soon.